First Peter chapter 2, verse 9. Betty are a choosing generation, a royal priesthood, an holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praise of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous lights. Therefore, my brother, my sisters, I bring to you again the word of God. Let me let you understand that you are precious. You are precious. Don't allow anything to make you think otherwise. Tell yourself every morning when you wake up that I am precious. That I am wonderfully and perfectly created. God made you in his own image. He created you in, in his own image. Don't allow the level that you are now to make you feel otherwise. Don't allow the things that you see now to make you think otherwise. Don't allow the people you are looking at to make you think otherwise. That you may say, ah, look at my mates. Look at this. Look at that. I am supposed to, you know, be, be blessed and be known today all over the world. Yes, God will make it to happen if you don't give up. If you don't allow inferiority complex to bring you down. The Bible says that you, you, you that is looking at me now, you are a choosing generation. You are precious to God. And be precious to yourself. Don't be all that pressure to do what you are not supposed to do. Don't be all that pressure to go and sin against God. Because what God has for you is greater than what you think you have today. So the Bible says that you, you, looking at me, you are peculiar to God. God has chosen you to be his own because you were created in the image and in the likeness of God. And God is the lifter of our heads. God is, the, God is mighty to bless you, to lift you up, to make his glory to shine over your life. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.